Hey guys, today I am focusing on how to be a faster barista. Now, we all hate that scenario where you're put under the pump, you're under pressure, there's customers lining up, and it's just stressful, and it's not comfortable for anyone. You don't want the customers to see you react like that. You don't want to be stressed at work. So there's a few things that I like to implement with our cafe partners and just with myself learning over time of being on the machine and how to reduce that stress by getting smarter, not harder. <laughs> you can't get harder. So what is it that you as the barista can do to get faster? And because you don't have all the money to spend on all the bells and whistles, the faster equipment, obviously automation, speed of equipment, does play into it, but I want to talk to you because you could potentially go to work tomorrow and get even faster at your job. And that's exactly what we do when we do cafe assessments. We look at the whole space as far as the workflow, but we also focus on the baristas and the staff. Now, staff is one of the biggest challenges between businesses and switching between staff, getting on and off the machine, the different people on different rosters, everyone having a different way of doing things is probably the biggest issue that we see in cafes. Now, I would focus on straight away having systems and good processes in place so that when you get on the machine, you know exactly what you're doing for each coffee. And you also know that the other staff members that are gonna potentially jump on the machine and help you aren't gonna be surprised for the things that you do and you won't be surprised by what they do. Now, that can be as important as just understanding the menu that you're making every drink, you need to understand your recipes and everyone needs to be on the same page. So firstly, I'd focus on yourself as a barista and your processes and procedures, making sure that if you're a cafe owner, you implement good processes and procedures. And this might be something that you might need to talk to your roaster with. I know that when we do our coffee training and our services with our cafe partners, we're big on this because it's the variables between staff members that have the biggest impact on the end result of the cup. And I did want to bring it back to the end result of the cup being highly produced, good quality coffee. Now being fast isn't always the best thing. You don't always want to get it out the door and not get that extra love in there to make sure that it is consistently tasting great. And consistent is the key word. If you can replicate what you do day in, day out with those processes and procedures that you put in place, you will be able to produce the same coffee daily and produce a far higher quality coffee that goes out the door in a faster sense. Now you do need to remember that all staff have to start at a point and they're learning how to make coffee and then they get faster. So if you pull it back, get everyone on the same page, make sure everyone's doing the same processes, then you can build on that and get faster. So don't expect yourself or any new staff members to be fast. It is something that you learn over time. As you learn where all the equipment is and how to make the different drinks, that increases your speed. So don't be put off if you're not actually physically fast at getting the coffees out. It is something that you do learn over time, but you will increase your speed as you become more productive in the space. So most baristas have bad habits. Bad habits are what create inconsistencies between staff. People come from different cafes and they bring their bad habits. Wipe it clean, come back in and do what the cafe does. You've got to understand that when you start a new job, you need to take on what they do so that you're not the one doing the different things. Stop the chatter. The chatter of talking to other staff, just generally chatting to customers outside of being hospitable, you need to actually remember that in service, you need to pump them out. You need to focus on what you're doing. It is quite hard to think about the full order process when you are busy chatting to people. So it's just it's something I see all the time and I have to mention it, mention it that you just have to stop chatting and sometimes you just have to move a little bit faster. So you watch a barista, they're kind of floating around. You can just physically move faster. If you have run out of milk, you gotta go at the back, you might need to run and that's gonna speed up you as a barista. Now with staff, it's not just the barista that's gonna increase your speed. Let's take it all the way back to the ordering process whether we're writing on cups, dockets or anything, that person is also helping the speed and the workflow. So watch our other video on shorthand language and improving your takeaway offering. But there's a big role that that person plays in taking an order well, especially things like the shorthand language of how they write the order on the cup so that when the barista gets it, there's no questioning what that order is. It should be able to go into autopilot and just know straight away, yep, that's cappuccino. I know how much milk to fill up. I know how much... Um, what shots I need to put on, there's no question there. Everything's, it's, it's the stressful ones that get you that are the, the half strength long black on 65 degree 
temperature and all of the individual coffees that might take your bit more brain space and you need to give them time but you need to be able to lock in an autopilot and just pump out those flat whites those caps and make sure that you're able to do that comfortably and easily and really quickly so we're big on workflow too so positioning of everything in your bar is very important and i wanted to be in here to highlight that point of focus on the different things that you touch throughout service you grind like having everything from the process of ordering to grinding to tamping to extractions to milk to out your workflow and the way that you've set up your coffee bench makes a huge difference and it's something that you need to be continually assessing um, if you can get someone else like myself um, to have a look at the space and watch you in the space and you might not realize but a lot of baristas especially new baristas do what we call double handling and it's just when they're constantly moving things around and they don't need to be so watch yourself if you get a coffee and the order comes in you grab the cup and you put the cup on the bench then you pull your shot and you put it up there when the shot's done you put it back down and then you spin your milk and you grab it and you pick it up again you've just double handled that cup so many times by moving it from here to there, from there to there. And they're the little nuances that you as a barista, if you start to catch yourself on those things, reduce the amount of time that you double handle, touch everything, and you will straight away save yourself a couple of seconds on every coffee. And that's where really good baristas, really fast baristas start to really gain those extra seconds. And they're quite quick. Little things like as soon as you've poured your coffee, don't put the jug back down to the bench. Rinse it straight away so that when you need it next, you can grab it straight away and it's clean. I often see people finish their pour and put their jug back down to the bench and then they have to come back and take a moment to rinse it. It's just one more movement that you're having to do and it's actually slowing down your coffee making process. Now, when you're busy, when you're in service, treat it like you're in service. Whether you're even busy enough right now isn't the point. I like to set up my customers so that they have all the everything in place, all the procedures, as if they're going to get busy so that you can grow into it. Now, one of the things that we like to do is standing in the space, reduce the amount of time that you leave the bar. So come around here and have a quick look. So we've got access to, quick access to things like our, our spoons and our sauces, our takeaways. We'll always have our um, sugars and a few things available here, some tasting cards. And if I was in service, I wouldn't have lids on everything. I want to take lids off. I want to have all of my alternative milks, I'll be taking them out and putting them on the bench. You wanna have access to things. And notice how I've got free access to all of this and I shouldn't have to ever really leave the coffee set up, especially once you do get to that busy point, you don't wanna be leaving your coffee set up. So at the end of every day, take the time, assess your space, think about and count potentially how many times you had to leave your leave your station to go get something and remember that that's something that you want to bring back into your area so that you're not having to leave the coffee machine so many times during service guys invest in yourself and to be honest you're already doing it if you're watching this video it means that you're learning you're already investing in yourself and you're wanting to be better and that's amazing i applaud you for that and it's really what we you know, want you to do and that's why we create this content and we want you to continue to learn if your coffee roaster like us does free coffee training or you can actually team up with someone you can go to courses you can learn about coffee making because it's your techniques that are also going to speed you up if you've got bad techniques or you are doing them in an awkward way and there's someone that could watch you and assess you, that will have a huge impact on the speed of you as a barista. So I would highly recommend going to a coffee training center, going to your roaster, finding some support and learning how to make coffee better because that will in turn improve your speed and will also maintain the quality of coffee that you're making. So in summary, consistency and standardizing your processes and procedures is the first step to being a faster barista. It's not all about technical skill, it's just about you as the barista improving your uh, ability to do a repeatable process, stop the double handling, be able to have someone jump on the machine with you, you're both on the same page and we're not having the variations between um, baristas and that is going to have the best impact on your customers they're going to get the same coffee day in day out they're not going to wait for that guy to be on the machine to make their coffee if you're a cafe owner and you're getting different people walking the door and wanting certain baristas on the machine that's because you haven't implemented 
good systems to standardize between your baristas. So guys, if I can help you and I can come to, if you're in Australia and I can help you do a cafe assessment, I'd love to do that for you. Just reach out in our contact details on our website. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We love to answer them. The community will help you as well. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we're doing lots more content just like this. Hit the bell icon and the like button and I will see you next time. Thanks very much.